Jonathan Livingston Siegel by Richard Bach. Interpretation and illustrations by Adam Webb. The morning was bright and the sun was high in the sky. Jonathan Livingston Siegel was not with his flock looking for breakfast. He was far away from any boat or land learning how to fly, for he loved to fly. Jonathan practiced over and over his dives, flying higher and higher each time. He flew so high that all of the other seagulls and the boats below looked like specks on the water's surface. With each dive, Jonathan would travel faster and faster, but he could not maintain control at these speeds, and he would crash into the water each time, but he was determined that he could do it, that he could fly faster than any seagull ever has and stay in control. Finally, Jonathan Livingston Seagull got the idea of how to use his wings like that of a falcon. And one bright morning, he broke the speed record for how fast a seagull could fly. He rocketed through the morning flock searching for breakfast. Later that evening, he flew to shore. Jonathan saw all of the flock on the beach's shore. He was so excited and could not wait to tell the others what he had accomplished. But when Jonathan got to the shore... The elder seagull called him to the center. Jonathan Livingston Seagull was called to the center for bringing shame to his flock. He had upset two elder seagulls with his high speed flying that morning. Jonathan's parents were heartbroken of his shame. The elder seagull turned away and would not listen to what Jonathan had to say. So, Jonathan was banned from the flock. He was destined to spend out his days alone at sea. Jonathan spent his days flying far out over the sea. He fed on the best fish and the most tasty insects on isolated islands. And he continued to experiment with his flying techniques. Jonathan reached faster speeds every day. Then one day, while he was flying high above the clouds... Jonathan met two silver-white seagulls. They were beautiful to behold. Jonathan tested out their flying abilities, and they were just as good as him. Jonathan flew on with the two other bright seagulls who claimed to be his brothers. They flew Jonathan so high that he thought he must be in heaven. Then, without another word, they left Jonathan on his way. He kept telling himself that he was in heaven. Finally, Jonathan made his way to a beach where a few seagulls had gathered. He thought that there must be more seagulls around if this was heaven. Then he met Sullivan, who told him that he had only ascended to the next level. Sullivan told Jonathan that he had much yet to learn. So Jonathan practiced and flew with Sullivan Seagull. Then it came the day that Jonathan wished to return home to his flock. Sullivan wished him well, and Jonathan Livingston Seagull, the outcast, flew back home. Before reaching his flock, however, he met a young seagull named Fletcher Lynn Seagull. Jonathan took him under his wing and taught him how to fly. After tirelessly training members in his flock, it was time for Jonathan to leave. Fletcher and the other seagulls asked him why he had to leave. Before he could properly answer Fletcher and the others, Jonathan began to glow and shimmer. Jonathan Livingston Seagull became transparent. They watched as he grew farther and farther away from them. Then he was gone. Fletcher Lynn Seagull continued with the training that he had learned from Jonathan. Now it was Fletcher's turn to learn.